Should you be applying fertilizer to your golf course lawn? If so, how much and what quantities? In this episode of Fix My Ugly Lawn, we talk all about soil testing. Let's get started. Hey YouTube, welcome to Project Golf Course Lawn Season 5. So we are now, I think this is episode 4 of uh, Fix My Ugly Lawn. And uh, what we're doing on Alice's Lawn today is we're going to answer the question about fertilizers, right? So if you guys have been following the series, you know that so far we've applied, um, we've done a herbicide on the lawn, we've done um, that carbon micronutrient to the lawn to kind of help the, 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 the soil, to increase uh, soil health. And then in the last episode, uh, we apply malorganite. I mean, now the question a lot of you guys might have is when you go to Home Depot or go to you know your big box store of choice and you see all these different types of fertilizers on, on the lawn, you see like you know a, a 12, 8, 4, you see all these different types of uh, all these different types of makeups of, of these uh, of the NPK numbers, right? Um, which one is right for your lawn? How do you know uh, what you need to apply to your lawn to make sure that the, that it's healthy? Um, the, the, the things to think about. Uh, when you're when you're trying to get your lawn as good as you can is um, is keeping keeping track of what the pH level of your lawn is of, of what the soil is. So in a nutshell, what pH is? It's a measure of the um, alkaline and acidity levels that ratio um, in your in your turf. Uh, and for turf grass, if memory serves me, um, it, they they like a ratio between 5.8 and 7.2. So it's anywhere in, the, in that area between 5.8 and 7.2 is the sweet spot. Uh, and if you you tend if your soil tends to get too um, acidic, in other words, as that pH level begins to drop, uh, you start having problems with your your grass growing, growing properly. It, the nutrient uptake suffers, and you start in extreme levels. You can start getting uh, cases where you start getting moss and this kind of stuff on your lawn. So, um, like having a, a good bead on the health of your lawn is is super important. So then, how do we do that? Uh, the, one of the best ways is to do a soil test of some sort. So I, I've been toying around with the idea of, of making a video for a while on soil testing, but I've been, I've been trying to find um, a solution that doesn't re require you guys to go to like, uh, you know, some, some store like a, or like a site one or some other place and like take them a soil sample and then have to go and take that to them and then um, wait for the results and then call to get the results or go pick them up. I wanted something that was super easy um, from, um, you know, that, that just kind of covered the entire process along with giving you recommendations on, on exactly how to fix the issue or how to amend the soil based on what the soil test comes back with. And it turns out that, uh, you know, the comment section, you guys are awesome. You guys give me great ideas for content. And a, a, uh, a viewer named Perry out of Alabama, he sent me some pictures of his lawn, and he also sent me a soil test saying, hey, Ron, I want you to look at my lawn and let me know what you, what you think about um, these, these soil test results so I can know what to do to my lawn. And uh, I looked at the results, and they were, they were really cool. I'll actually put them up either, like, right here on the, on the screen right now, and you can see how, how nicely uh, they were laid out. Um, and as far as, you know, exactly what the results were, as far as, like, your major macronutrients, like your, your nitrogen, your, um, your, your potassium, your phosphorus, um, and then as well as all the micronutrients like where the deficiencies were there and i said well who's like who's this from right so i started uh looking doing a little more digging into into his results and then i came across these guys uh it's a company probably a lot of you guys have heard of it's uh, called uh, my soil or test my soil and um what's cool about this is that uh unlike a lot of uh, a lot of other soil tests you have to go that you have to deal with you have to um you know, send the results off and then wait for them to come in either in the mail or you have to go, like in my case, you go to your local site and want to pick up the results. Um, all this is all done online. So you get a test kit and you literally take your soil samples of different spots of the lawn and then you send it off. And then within, um, from the time they receive it, in less than um, five days, you'll have it all on your website, on, on their website where you can see the results. So what you get with this is kind of cool. Um, you get, I'll scroll in here, you get like a you get like a card that has, and I've covered this up because this is the one we're actually going to use on Alex's lawn, but this is uh, the registration card which has like a serial number that you put into the website when you create your, um, when you create your account. Uh, it comes with a uh, first class return package so you, you don't have to worry about paying postage. It comes with a scoop and then it comes with this. This is really cool and this is what actually got me to get on the phone with these guys and actually call them and try to understand like what makes their kit um, different from everyone else's. So what this is, is deionized water and um, in there is like a bulb. It's like a, it's like a, um, what do they call it? They call it their, um, their ion exchange um, resin. That's what it's called. Ion exchange resin is, is, what, is what's in here. And what this does, is like a synthetic root. If you think about a lot of other test kits, uh, soil test kits, the way they work is that you'll go and you'll take a bunch of soil samples, you'll send it off to the, um, to the, to the labs, and they'll either like grind the soil or they'll dry it out and then they'll test the results of what's released from it, which is a cool way to kind of get results, but it's not necessarily the most accurate. So what this does, if you can think of this, it's almost like a synthetic root. 
So the idea is when we get started here, we're going to go through, we're going to take samples of different parts of the, of, of the lawn. Um, we're going to mix it all up here in this bucket, and then we're going to put it in this, uh, this container um, that contains the, the resin and then the deionized water, drop it in the mill and send it off to them. And, and the thing is about this is what it simulates, it simulates what your, your grass is actually doing, right? It actually simulates drawing the nutrients um, out of the soil um, and, and, you know, in this, this, like this water slurry that it's going to be in, which, which is actually more realistic. It actually shows you like what your grass, what your turf is actually going to able to do to get out, out or in other words, what your turf is actually able to get out of the, out of the soil, out of the levels that are in the soil, which is, which is really, really cool. I kind of, I kind of like the idea of this. I actually got on the phone with them. Um, I forget the guy's name is, I think it's uh, Brennan and Chris, like they both have backgrounds in, in agronomics. So it's like not some fly by night guys. I wanted to make sure that, you know, that, that you know, there's all kinds of like online fly by night companies. And I wanted to make sure that if um, I was gonna recommend something to you guys, that it was something that uh, the people actually had a background in soil testing and knew what they were talking about. And then it, the way they explained it and actually might, might do my own research, it made a lot of sense to me. So this is what we're gonna use today. We're gonna actually um, now just take a few soil samples throughout the lawn. Um, mix it up in this bucket, then we'll throw it in here, mail it out, and then in a later video, I'm going to update you guys with what the results are. Um, so, um, for getting your sample, let me put this all back. For getting your sample, you're going to need a couple of things. Um, you're going to need a bucket uh, of some sort. I recommend like cleaning this out. Like I've already cleaned this bucket out to make sure there's no other soil, no other you know other contaminants in here. Uh, you can use there are different types of probes, but they also make a probe, um, which is kind of nice. You got like a little T handle here. Uh, so you can just stick this in the soil in the different spots of the lawn where you want to get your get your test samples from and then a shovel to mix it all up. So now here's the thing, it, depending on the size of your lawn, like Alex has, I think this area we measured is like somewhere around um, 4,600 square feet thereabouts. Um, and then if you take the front, you probably add on the 2,000. So somewhere around, he's sitting somewhere around 7,000 square feet is somewhere in that, that space. Uh, really one test kit is probably enough to do that. But if you're trying to be super scientific, you could actually do a test kit for just this area, just the, this back lawn. And then you could do a separate one for like the front lawn and the, the side, um, you know, sidewalk areas. But we're just gonna do just one for all these. But just want to let you know that, you know, you can, you know, depending on the size of your lawn, you may want to use more than one of these to, to be able to amend the soil in each of the locations based on what it needs. So let's get into it. So we'll just start here. I'm going to, I'm going to do like a, probably four probes. So I'll come like right here and I'll dig in, push down, grab some. So you see we got our sample here and I'm just going to take that now and I'm just going to knock it into the bucket. Just like that. Just like that. So that's soil position, that's, that's point one. Then we'll walk over, and I'm gonna do like a, like a diagonal pattern. So I'll do another one, like right in here, so it's like a good spot. Dig down, get a good sample, pull out, just like that. Knock that in the bucket, that's two. Come out here for a third one. like that. That's the third. And then one more. All right. So that covers the back lawn. But guys, you know, I mean, the back lawn is important. But when it comes to our, our, our lawns, guys, it's all about the vanity strip. The vanity strip's got to get sampled, too. I mean, it's, you know, let's go take care of that. So we'll take one from each of these, from each of these locations. So we'll do one here. And then we'll take uh, one here that kind of represents this, this side lawn area. And we'll pull one more sample, just one more sample off the front lawn. And uh, that should be it. Should put us in a good, a good spot. So I'll just pick, I'll just pick this, this, this central spot right here on the front lawn. And uh, this will be our last sample. Just like that. So you guys can see what we ended up with. You know, give you that. I mean, it didn't look like a, that much soil, but honestly, um, the way they, they, the, the guys explained it to me. Um, most uh, places that you'll go out and you'll, you'll, send, you'll send your soil samples off to, um, also they use, use very little of it because by the time they dry it, bake it, like some of that is lost. But with this, it's going to sit in that slurry and that water and that deionized water for like five days. 
And that's what we're going to be able to, and by the time it gets to them, we're literally going to be able to take it, run it through the lab, and you figure in less than 10 days total from the time we mail it, we're going to have results, which is pretty awesome. So I hope you guys found this useful. I'm not going to actually show you guys um, uh, like me mailing it, but, but I guess we could run through this really quick. We could take this, we're just going to mix it up. So I'll take my shovel, and I'm going to mix that, kind of break it up all the cores to make sure that we have like a sampling of everything that represents the entire lawn. Throw this out, kind of like that. Good, so with that sample now, what we'll do is in the, in the included um, package, there's a scoop. We'll take a scoop of this, throw it in the air, in the, in that, in the uh, deionized water, in that little uh, resin bulb, and then we'll send it out to them. So guys, what will happen is once I get the results back, we'll report back with what the uh, the findings are, like what the soil needs. I mean, the lawn actually looks pretty healthy as far as, you know, just, just visually apparent, the visual appearance, but I mean, it can always be better, right? So I hope you guys found this useful. If you're if you're working on your lawn, you're finding like you're putting down fertilizers, you're putting down, um, you're doing all the things that you think are right, you're mowing regularly, and the lawn just still isn't taken off, um, you know, a soil test is something you might really want to consider. I mean, it's something you really should do anyway. Um, I've done it on, on my lawn a couple of times. I haven't done this season as yet, but um, it's something that's good to do because, it's, because it allows you to know that you're putting down the right kind of products on your lawn. You're fertilizing intelligently, in other words. You're just not throwing out stuff and just hoping for the best. Uh, a soil test is an important part of, of creating a golf course lawn. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any other questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. Um, if there's any other soil test kits that you guys have used and had good results with, definitely also tell us about that as well. So leave them in the comments and I look forward to hearing from you guys. If you're not yet a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. I mean, this is already uh, episode four in the uh, Fix My Ugly Lawn series. And as you can tell, Alex's lawn is quickly going from ugly to not so ugly. It's getting, it's getting, it's really, really coming along and we're liking how it's, how it's looking. So if you guys want to be a part of that, make sure you guys subscribe. Guys, thanks again so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have an amazing day.